Alright guys, so if you didn't know, Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 is now officially out, and it's a pretty big change for the world of image generation, because with it, competitors like Midjourney are now really in big trouble. You might ask why is that? Well, it's because Stable Diffusion XL 1.0, compared to any other image generation models, is completely open source and free to use, meaning that now you can generate absolutely fantastic images on your computer for free without any restrictions. And not only that, it also gives you way more control over image generation compared to a tool like Midjourney. Stable Diffusion is currently the only image generation model that allows you to fine tune it with your own images. So if you want to generate images of a particular character, you can. If you also want to generate images in a particular style, you can do that as well. There are absolutely no restrictions. And yes, we know you could already do these things with the previous version of Stable Diffusion, but Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 is a brand new, more powerful model of the Stable Diffusion line. An example of this is shown in how Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 is much more powerful and creates more detailed pictures of higher resolution compared to Stable Diffusion 1.5. Now, while Stable Diffusion 1.5 was trained on 512 by 512 images, Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 is actually trained on 1024 by 1024 image resolution, which allows you to generate high-resolution images right out of the gate. And not only can Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 generate high-resolution images, but it is also apparently easier to fine-tune. So, as of right now, if you want to fine-tune a new Stable Diffusion XL model, you have a few options. You can either use Stable Diffusion XL on ClipDrop and generate images for free there, or use it on your own computer for free using your Stable Diffusion Web UI, which is probably going to be the best option if you have a powerful GPU with at least 6 to 8 gigabytes of VRAM. And if you don't have a powerful GPU, you can simply use the Web UI inside Google Collab, which is extremely easy to use, and we will leave a link for it in the description below. In this video, we'll be concentrating more on what you can do with the web UI running locally on your own computer, because this is what most people will use at the end of the day. Now, for this, we will, of course, be using the automatic 1111 Stable Diffusion web UI that we all know and love. But technically, as of right now, if you want to have the best results, you're advised to actually use the comfy UI instead, which should give you a little bit more control over the final generation. Now, if you want to know how to install the web UI first, you can check out different guides from other channels that we'll put in the description below. But if you've already installed WebUI, what you need to do next is download the weights. Sand these include three different files. To do this, you can click the link in the description below. When you do that, you'll arrive on this page. Then you're going to click on Files and Versions. You're going to scroll down, and then here, you'll see SDXL Base 1.0 Safe Tensors and Offset Example LoRa 1.0 Safe Tensors. These are two of the three files that you'll need to download. And then, to download them, you're going to click on the little icon right next to both of the files. So, the first file is basically the Stable Diffusion XL model you're going to use to generate your images. And the other is an Offset LoRa that will basically add a little bit more detail and more contrast to your images. The third file you'll need is the refiner, which will basically refine the images and add more details. And to download this file, you'll only need to click the link in the description, which will take you to this page. Once you're here, click on Files and Versions, scroll down, and then click on the download icon right next to the file to download the model. SD underscore XL underscore refiner underscore 1.0 dot safe tensors to be precise. So then, in the end, you should have all three files, the Base Stable Diffusion XL, the Refiner Stable Diffusion XL, and the Offset LoRa. So now what you're going to do is select the Base 1.0 and the Refiner model and press Ctrl X to cut them. Then you're going to go inside your Stable Diffusion Web UI folder. You're going to go inside Models, then Stable Diffusion, and then you're going to paste those two files right there. And now we're going to head back to select the LoRa file. Again, Control x to cut it, then head back to the Models folder, but this time, you're going to go inside LoRa and paste that file right there. Now, you're also going to need to update the Stable Diffusion Web UI to its latest version. To do that, make sure you are in the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, 
Head up top and click the folder path. Type CMD and press enter. And right after the command prompts you see, you're going to type git pull and then you're going to press enter. With this, you'd have automatically updated Stable Diffusion to its latest version, which should be 1.5.1 at the time of this video. And here's a little trick to make sure your generation is as fast as possible, in case you haven't done it before. In the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, scroll down until you see the web UI user.bat file. You're going to right click and choose Edit with Notepad. And then here, after the set command line args, you're going to type dash dash xformers, which will greatly increase the speed of the generation. Now you can save the file and launch the web UI. And that's it. Now we're ready to have some fun. Just make sure that under the Stable Diffusion checkpoint, you select the Stable Diffusion XL model, and now you're ready to generate some images. So you can input prompts like an analog photograph of a dog in a spacesuit taken inside the cockpit of a steel fighter jet. Feel free to add additional prompts as desired. But also keep in mind that the image resolution has increased to 1024 by 1024 from the previous 512 by 512. When you have your prompts in place, click Generate and witness the generation of highly detailed, fantastic images. So, as you can see, the possibilities with this model are virtually limitless. Whether you're making creative images, book covers or content for a video game, Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 offers incredible versatility. Now, if you want to refine an image you've generated, simply return to the Stable Diffusion checkpoint and select the refiner model. From there, you can fine-tune the image's values, particularly the denoising strength, which we recommend you change to around 0.3. Click Generate and there you'll have it. Your image will have even more detail than you got the first time around. Now, if you recall correctly, we also downloaded this enigma called Laura. Now, what precisely is its purpose? Well, if you employ the same exact prompts and values and proceed to click on this purple colored icon under Generate, then come here to click on Laura, select it, which will then make it appear directly within your input. And without altering anything, you make sure you modify the Stable Diffusion checkpoint back to Excel Base 1.0, and then you initiate the generation process. You obtain something resembling your previous image, but with a lot more contrast. Now, if you want to go back to refine the image again, just go back to change the model under the Stable Diffusion checklist to Refiner, and also delete the prompts for Laura from your input, as it cannot work with the Refiner model. Click Generate and you'll get your final outcome, once again appearing remarkably impressive. One aspect you might have overlooked on the ClipDrop website is the availability of various styles you can use to generate your images. But to use these styles, you have to know how to integrate them into your Stable Diffusion web UI effectively. To do this, there's already a well-compiled list of the keywords associated with these styles on Reddit, which you can access by clicking the link in the description. When you click on the link and come to the Reddit page, Scroll down until you locate the part labeled to use in A1111. Add these to the styles.csv file. Select and copy all of the keywords you see there with Ctrl and C. Then within your Stable Diffuser Web UI folder, locate the styles.csv file, right click and edit with Notepad. Beneath name prompt and negative prompt on the second line, paste all the copied keywords. Then save the file. When you then return to the Web UI, Click the refresh icon where styles is to refresh the list, and upon doing so, you'll discover an array of styles available for your image generation. So, for instance, let's say you want to select the origami style for your dog. Apply it to the current input by clicking this button. Naturally, some cleaning and adjustments may be necessary for your prompts, like writing out origami style dog in a spacesuit within the cockpit of a stealth fighter jet. Now, without further modifications, you can proceed to generate, and what you'll find is quite amusing, surprisingly accurate, and notably decent result. While it may not be perfect due to the origami nature, so it's quite intriguing. This approach can also be extended to various styles, such as anime, digital art, 3D modeling, and so on. 
It's a genuinely enjoyable process we recommend you try out. Also, if you wish to explore a broader range of artistic styles compatible with Stable Diffusion XL, you can visit a resource called 500 Rabbits, the XL edition, which presents an extensive selection of images generated using Stable Diffusion XL, each attributed to different patterns and artists. This offers a diverse palette of styles for your image generation endeavors. The link to this page is provided in the description below, so do give it a try. Additionally, for those curious about content restrictions, rest assured that this model of Stable Diffusion is indeed uncensored, granting you the freedom to generate images of virtually anything you desire. So you can see, compared to Midjourney, Stable Diffusion XL provides you with unparalleled image generation capabilities. We won't even focus too much on the image-to-image, -image, imprinting, and sketch options, but suffice it to say that Stable Diffusion surpasses Midjourney by a considerable margin. Regrettably, as of now, ControlNet does not function with Stable Diffusion XL. Nevertheless, it's reasonable to anticipate future updates that will enable compatibility between the ControlNet module and Stable Diffusion XL, promising exciting possibilities. Beyond ControlNet, this represents just the commencement of a new era for Stable Diffusion models, collaboratively developed by the community for the community. One such model you can presently access is a model known as Dream Shaper XL, which offers the capacity to generate stunning images that were previously unattainable with earlier iterations of Stable Diffusion, and all of this is accessible at no cost. This marks a significant leap forward, and we eagerly anticipate what the future holds. Now, that's all we've got for today's video. If you want unlimited content on all things AI and tech, hit that subscribe button. We've got some amazing stuff lined up for you guys. See you in the next one.